Zane, and in today's video I'm going to be following a Jake Kissa Halloween tutorial. Oh, I just feel like doing that is my this week's videos is following someone else's Halloween videos. So, today I'm doing a Jake Kissa one, and this is her creepy cute pastel clown video. And I have the video over here, I'm going to put the link to it down below. So, that way, if you guys want to see you, what I'm trying to recreate, I'm going to have it there. I'm going to hit play. Alright, she has an intro. I need to jump forward to when she starts doing the tutorial. I myself am terrified by clowns. I but know. I love the idea of clowns and playing with the makeup. And I want to do something high fashion. Past okay, so voice or me here. I was going to actually do all this on let me like while I watched it and did everything. But uh, then it turned into a 45 minutes of a video. And that was just too much. So over here, I'm just doing a uh, Pixie Glow Mist and then some Smash Smashbox Primer, uh, the Smooth and Blur. And then I'm gonna take the ColourPop um, Concealer. The I think it's the lightest cool tone shade they have, which is basically almost completely white. And I'm just doing that all over my face. Uh, Jacobsa did a Lumi, some Lumi pen pigment as well as hers. After I blended this out, I felt sufficiently pale and decided just to leave it like this. So you can tell I'm already looking insanely ghostly or really just clown. And I didn't blend it out too, too well. And that was the point. Uh, she dispersed hers up a little bit more. So hers looked a little bit more patchy. I did not do that with mine. And I'm going to use three different palettes. Well, I think really four. But here I'm taking the NYX um, White Pearl eye primer just to get a nice white base to kind of match everything else which it was a matte um white shade versus a shimmer but it is a shimmer and then this one i didn't i had still had some stuff in my brows but not like crazy amount so i still still set it with a white powder i was going to originally take that clear pop palette but i ended up going with the life of a drag and then grabbing the shade cake face and kind of setting my eyes with that which again just didn't really sit well over that NYX primer. I think it's easier old, or just the fact that the shimmer I was trying to set it with a matte that made it look kind of weird. I know that one edge is not blended out. I don't care. So th I'm showing you the palettes that I'm using. Going to be using. Um, they are the NYX In Your Element Air Palette and the NYX Sugar Trip Squad Palette. And I'm just using different the different blues from in those palettes, uh, mainly from the Air Palette for this sad side which is blue and the happy side is going to have more orange tones so it's kind of more contrasted uh she was using a gray so this is just me grabbing dipping into the Anastasia Beverly Hills sultry palette to grab a gray shade I actually forgot I even dipped into this palette I thought I didn't but I did I'll be doing a different video on that palette in the future uh just adding some joy over onto this other side <laughs> joy happiness orange actually it's more peachish so i added in some more orange tones i'm not going completely off the look that jacissa has one i don't have the correct shadows that she used she used uh the shrub cosmetics creepy cute palette which looks super cute but i did not have that um so i'm just using what i have to kind of make it work with kind of what she basically was doing i trying to kind of stop looking at the screen i'm actually looking at the video to see what she did next to try emulating the look as much as I can. Or really, I'm trying to follow one of her videos. Because I said, this is a, I tried to follow a uh, Jake a creepy, cute clown makeup tutorial. But I decided to do voiceover for this part due to, as I said, it took too much. She used some micellar water, which then makes your makeup actually drip down your face. I had to take it off. I didn't have that, so I ended up dipping into my water activated paints. And I started with a gray tone. But my gray is way too light. And it looks good initially, but then just doesn't look right. So I ended up going into black after a while. Um, but she decided to jump over to blush. So I'm using these tart blushes. And I was trying to find the names of them. But they actually don't have names on the back of them. So I'm just trying to make my cheeks that clownish color in the front. This is why I don't dip into those that often. I do have them. I just don't like them because they're definitely not for my skin tone. Um, next, going back into Life's a Drag palette and taking the shade Shady, which is kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> on par for Manny. Um, taking that and putting that all over my eyes. 
kind of half hours her lead, which is kind of the point, because this guy is supposed to be like, you were crying. And as I said, I was originally going to do a voice, not do a voiceover, so that's why I'm talking. If I knew I was going to be doing a voiceover, I probably wouldn't have, but I wasn't going to. So now I'm taking black um, by paint, and kind of dripping it down, I'm trying to make it look like I was crying. I get cried off my makeup, but you know, just on the sad side. And yeah, so I'm trying to make that look more like that. And then next, going back in the sugar tree palette, I'm going to just kind of make the orange side a little bit more like hers, which has these points. I had a really runny noise, if that's what you're running, if you see me read Shars My Nose. Um, next thing in shade, Centipede from Black Cosmetics Moonlighters, just to kind of give more of that highlighted shimmer. Then just going into the other shadows and trying to make it match a little bit more. I should have also grabbed the gray tone again, but I completely forgot about it. Uh, next to the f- uh, mascara and just kind of running it all over the face. And any mistakes that kind of happen, happen. And they're on purpose. Um, next, we're going to put a white jumbo NYX liner in Milk in my other eyes waterline. And a black in the sad side to just, you know, kind of emphasize one's happy and one's sad. And just kind of makes more sense with that. I need a little bit more watercolor. Next, she took a clear gloss and put it on the sad side to make it look like it's active, you're actively crying. I only had the lip sense one, which ended up doing this weird thing on my cheek, but you know what? It's okay. Then I'm taking the sh- lashes in Hollywood from Arenzio, Arenzo, the ones I always use, and putting that on my happy side. And I was going to do one on the sad side, but it just didn't work out, and it would look better if you trimmed it up. I did not want to show up those lashes, so I ended up taking a different one. Here, I'm still trying to make it work, but it's not going to. Um, so now I'm going to apply the side for the joy. Make that happy happy. And, yeah, so there that one goes on. Not that you guys can see it, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Probably should have waited for the lash to dry some more, but I didn't. And then I'm going to cut some Ardell Wispy. Jimmy Wispy lashes for that lower lash line on the sad side. So this is that's you can see me kind of doing that, but some of it's off camera. And then it felt really weird to put lashes on the lower lash line. It does look really cool on some looks to do that, but it feels so weird. But I really do like how the look turned out, even with those lashes there. And I just did two cuts of it. And then put one in the middle where you were kind of crying. It just had to kiss I had it. And then I think I added some more black in from, yeah. This more black from the Shady Palette. Just to kind of make it a little bit more crazy. Um, I don't know what I did on that side. What was I doing? Oh, we're going to the nose, I think. Which is just taking pinks and reds and some orange. To create that little nose there. Then I did that. And then I took some Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks. After I drew on happy and sad. Extending from your natural lash smile line. Or sad line. Um, so I used the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks in Mermaid Blood. For the sad side. And I'm Shook. For the joy side. And I took Drug Lord in the center. To kind of make an ombre effect in between the two. So that way it kind of more blurred together a little bit. And then I put some pigments on top as well to make it look a little bit better as well. And those were also from the um, NYX In Your Elements Air Palette. And then I took Shady from Lysa Dry into the outer corners of each of the lips. Just to accentuate it and also because that's what Jay Kissa did. So as you can see, I'm adding some pigments on top just to kind of make it blend in some more. And here's where you can see I'm adding shiny. And I'm being very haphazard on the sad side, but not on the joy side. And then I think I just added a little bit more liquid liner on that one side. Then I think she had more messed up hair, so I'm just going to mess my, my hair a bit. There is the finished look. I'm trying to follow... A Jake is a hauling tutorial on us. Very cute pastel clown 
only makeup tutorial. Hope you all enjoy it. Dig this video, thumbs up, subscribe to him, how pack, and I'll see you in the next video where I try following another makeup tutorial by a different YouTuber. That's very different from this one, so hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!